question. Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Acting Premier. Uh, speaker, today Londoners learned that double salary deals in lieu of leave for senior university executives are not new in the sector. In fact, the President of Western University received an earlier double payout in 2009 when he was at the University of Waterloo. Acting Premier, when you became aware of the double payout in 2009, why did your government do nothing? Nothing to prevent these kinds of deals that result in million-dollar salaries from being negotiated by university boards of governors. He passed Bill 8. We introduced Bill 8 prior to the election, Speaker. We would have passed it sooner had an unnecessary election not been triggered. When we reintroduced the legislation, the NDP voted against the legislation that would give us the opportunity to control executive compensation. Order. So we Member from Hamilton East Stony Creek. There is a problem with executive Second compensation time. in the broader public sector. That's why we introduced Bill 8. That is why we are moving forward to develop the frameworks for appropriate executive compensation. So, Speaker, they're just a little bit late to this party. Why they voted against the legislation that will give us the right to actually control executive compensation in the broader public sector Answer. makes their accusations a little bit hollow. Thank you. Supplementary. Uh, thank you, Speaker. On Monday, the Minister of Training Colleges and Universities said that the public has a right to know that tax dollars are being spent properly. But on Tuesday, he said that universities are autonomous institutions and can make their own hiring and contract decisions. Acting Premier, Ontario students are facing the highest tuition rates in Canada, increasing class sizes, and more classes taught by contract faculty than ever before. How can the public be assured? that taxpayer dollars are being spent appropriately when university boards of governors are allowed to write double salary clauses into the contracts of senior university executives. So, Speaker, let me repeat. Bill 8 gave the government the ability to actually control broader public sector executive compensation. That is a good piece of legislation. This House passed it without the support of the NDP. So how they can stand up now and criticize us for not taking action, Speaker, when they voted against the very action that they're demanding now is just beyond me, Speaker. So we are on this. We are addressing this issue, Speaker, because we do believe that the taxpayers of this province, the citizens of this province, should know why people are paid what they are paid, and those are the answers that we are developing right now as we speak, Speaker. Thank you. 